data plays an essential role in our daily lives. From business to healthcare, transport to travel, access to data underpins all that we do. So, for instance, digital realty, platform digital, six continents, over 300 data centers, 24 countries. We just embrace the whole world with our digital economy. The data center industry is committed to becoming climate neutral by 2030. To achieve that ambition, mission-critical data facilities must adopt the latest technologies to become as clean and energy efficient as possible. We're building something never happened before, fourth industrial revolution. Digital economy is there to, let's say, offload the pressure on, on carbon emissions. We are able to do this. This vision is coming to life at a state-of-the-art site located north of Paris. The PAR-8 facility demands the highest levels of power redundancy, with backup generators from Kohler supporting 72 hours of autonomy at full capacity. These generators historically would have run on diesel fuel, but Digital Realty wanted to work with Kohler to adopt hydro-treated vegetable oil a next-generation, fossil-free, renewable energy source. HVO is a great solution for data centers and reducing carbon footprint emission for a lot of reasons, in fact. First, of course, it reduces your carbon footprint by up to 90%, so it's a huge reduction comparing to regular fuel. It's also a very stable fuel, so it means that uh, it doesn't degrade during you know, storage in tanks uh, over time, so which is a big advantage comparing to a standard fuel. Somewhere it's also some things that you don't need to change anything on your engines. I mean, no recalibration, no, nothing to change. Your maintenance program remains the same, so it's really very versatile somewhere in terms of how you can use it. And you can also mix it with, or blend it somewhere with, uh, with regular fuel in case it is necessary. So it's, uh, it's really easy uh, in terms of uh, operations how to use HVO. Technology is the key driver for this. And um, for instance, running our diesel generators on HVO, uh, having systems in place that we reduce the run hours on the diesel engines, um, using clean energy, uh, all of these things. Each action we undertake, uh, which make it possible to reduce greenhouse gases emission, is absolutely essential for digital reality. As a manufacturer, it's always very important to be responsive to customers and data center customers especially have always been on leading this trend of reducing emissions. And digital Realty being one of the main players in the market is always leading the trend somewhere there. And we have been working together first testing HVO on, on our engines and our gensets to make sure it, uh, it works properly, it doesn't create any issues in terms of maintenance uh, for product already installed or on product to be installed in the future. Uh, and we, we pursuing this effort even further by working now on how we could reduce uh, testing in the future. Digital Reality is now using uh, HVO across Europe. For example, we have another project in, uh, in Madrid, in Spain. So it could be possible that HVO uh, will be deployed in uh, other regions, such as the uh, US. Kohler invited me as the first, actually, to come to Brest, work together with them on HVO and on reducing the work hours. That's a great success together because they understood the problem they had to solve for the industry and also for our industry.